Welcome to Department of Electronics and Telecommunication at Vidyalankar Institute of Technology. In this department, we have taken this new initiative to start our own YouTube channel. In this YouTube channel, we are going to upload all our experiments video, value-added course video or any other important videos. This material will be available to all the students in Mumbai University and this material will help students to, uh, to enhance their learning not just in their classroom but even outside the classroom. I hope that everyone will uh, like this our effort and in case of any query, comments, anything, they can put it in the comment box. Thank you. Our today's experiment is based on Schmidt trigger. This is a circuit diagram of Schmidt trigger. Here we are using IC741 as an operational amplifier. Here, input is given at the inverting terminal which is set 2 and the value of the resistor is 1K and this uh, non-inverting terminal is uh, given a feedback resistance of 10K and a variable resistance of 10K. Here it acts as a potent voltage divider. Now we are giving 15 volt plus and minus voltage at 7 and 4 of op-amp respectively. The output is taken at the 6 volt. Now as we know as a signal is a sine wave. Now, this is upper pressure point and this is the lower pressure point. Now, what happens is, if the voltage goes above this point, then it goes down. And it continues till it uh, reaches lower pressure point. If this goes further below the lower pressure point, then the voltage goes up. Because we know that if uh, input is negative, then Slight, uh, even if the input is slightly positive, the output will be negative. And here, because of the non-inverting feedback, we are uh, getting an amplified negative input. As a result, this wave occurs and we get a square wave. That's all for the implementation. Now so this is the breadboard implementation of Schmidt trigger. Now here you can see we are using IC741. We have already learned about this in our previous practicals. Now, uh, as you can see, input is 1K, which is given to negative terminal, that is, uh, that is the second terminal. This is 1K, and uh, uh, 10K resistor is connected between third terminal and the output, which is sixth terminal. You can see this is 10K resistance, and um, another 10K is connected between third terminal and ground. This is that 10K. We are giving uh, plus 15 and minus 15 volt at uh, like we are giving plus 15 at 7th and uh, minus 15 at 4th pin of IC and uh, we are gi giving like we are giving input at the at this point at the in this terminal of the resistor and we are getting the output at the 6th point of the IC that's it for Schmidt trigger now let's see its implementation um, this is the function generator I have already set it for 1, one kilohertz and 15 volt pick to pick these are the dual power supply. Uh, this, uh, I have connected the negative of this to the positive of this and taken the ground from there. And I have give, uh, and this wire is from the negative, which acts as a negative volt, and this gives a positive volt. Okay, now I am giving the input. And this slope is used for the first channel. I am connecting the positive to the input and negative to the ground. As you can see, we are, we are getting a sine wave. Now let's connect the output and see if whether we are getting square wave or not. This, uh, I have taken this wire from the sixth point and I am connecting it. And I am giving it ground. As you can see, we are getting square wave. This is the output of Schmidt trigger. Yellow here is the input and blue here is the output. The input is a sine wave which is converted into square wave which is rightly done by Schmidt trigger as it converts the sine wave into square wave. Here we can also see the upper trigger point and the lower trigger point. That's all for the Schmidt trigger. Thank you for watching.